this is not his first time coming to Metro TV, but it, this is his first time coming to the table of life. And it's a pleasure to have him here once again. Derek Ofe Awuku, popularly known as Ofe, is our guest today. He stood right here looking all dashing wow. and fine. <laughs> oh, you yes. just gave up my government name. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let, me, let, let me add the one in high school. Uh -huh. Timer. Timer, okay. Timer. I took it, took it, timer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But how are you doing? I'm yeah. doing great. Um, I mean, it's great to be back. Yeah. So yeah, you can tell. I'm, I'm just so excited to be back, to be in front of the cameras again. I've been through a whole lot. I'm sure we're going to get into that. Hey, you, you tell us about it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Nanaya prophesied that you'll be one of the biggest art she said it. in Ghana. She said it. It's been three years, right? Ask mm. Ofe. Yeah. Ofe. Yeah, I said that. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. How far? I mean, oh, after yeah, this I hit song, yeah, we I didn't mean, hear of you again. Or, or I can say, I didn't hear of you again. Mm -hmm. Um, it was a whole lot. I, I really don't want to get into details. Hey, but then <laughs> so, I mean, um, my time with my, the record label I was signed to was yeah. over. Yeah. And I just had to, like, go go back with my team, regroup, rethink. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, there was Corona too around that time when yeah. I dropped Fimano. Yeah. So, there was a whole lot. Was, there was a whole lot that was changing. So, we had to, you know, sit down and re rethink everything. We were recording the EP around mm. that time. So we lost we lost the files of the EP. Like oh. the machine crashed. Mm -hmm. But miraculously, a friend of ours had come to the studio to like get a backup before. Mm -hmm. So we were all worried, worried for months, but he had the data. Mm -hmm. So then he remembered and then he told us oh, he had the data. So he brought it back. Mm -hmm. And then lo and behold, <laughs> somewhere early this year, the laptop was stolen. Oh, hey. so, <laughs> so yeah, it's like the, the, EP, the, yes. the EP almost didn't make it, but then yeah, wow. we still had a backup, so then we got it back, we mixed mastered, and now it's ready. So butterfly season is ready. Butterfly, uh, yeah, season. it's ready. I feel like I mean, from my time twenty twenty yeah. uh, twenty seventeen till now, yeah. I was in like my caterpillar phase. Yeah. yeah, I've cocooned enough, and now I'm a butterfly. Yeah, you know, you've gone. Through you're a looking different too. Yeah. You yeah. gained weight. Yes, oh, you know, yes. Life, is life, life, life is good. Life is good. Life yeah. happened. You know, life <laughs> happened. Life happened, and I mean, I learned a lot. I've learned a lot. I made good friends, bad friends, mm -hmm. signed bad deals, like. A whole lot so it's like it has shaped me to be who i am now and to shape mm. the sound to be what it is now so yeah butterfly season almost okay. here i'm so but sorry i had gone yeah. off but, but we missed you though but are you, you so still much. a medical laboratory yeah, yeah, yeah i'm a med lab scientist i'm wow. a med lab scientist we all like, come for lab tests sure right. sure everyone should, <laughs> you should, you should. big shout outs to central lab <laughs> yeah. so you still work uh, yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just asking right. that. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. I mean, it's. Uh, I, I had, I had that moment of truth, like truth when Corona hit. You mm. know, I saw a lot of my colleagues in the front line. You know, a lot of frontliners. I was just sleeping at home. I was like, no, Ofe, you need to like go back and go help. So okay. right after that phase, I just went back to the. Okay. So hospital. okay. So now, what what would you say is your biggest challenge? Is it finances or people to work or to do things for you because i'm asking this because your youtube the last song you posted was a year ago mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. ayaya is not on youtube yeah so ayaya, ayaya just came out okay. today today okay. today is the official release of ayaya but the official uh, video video no sound, sound. sound. Okay. It's, it's on apple music i was just teasing that was the radio Edit. Edit. Yeah, okay. like, yeah, I was I was just teasing everyone okay. with the whole thing. So we had the pre-save link, mm. but then it's now out today. Okay. But like other links will also be coming out as the day goes like by. Okay. So um believe was what we dropped before I, I, I. Mm. And believe was just a test. We just had to test the waters because I had been out for a very long time. Yeah. So we decided to drop a song with doubts. I'm coming to your question. Okay. So we, de we decided to drop a song without like marketing budget, mm. you know, to see how it okay. goes. And right okay. now, f surprisingly, Believe, which is like an Ama Piano song I did with Amate, has now surpassed Femano, <laughs> like that I like released three years yeah. ago. So the numbers are like even uh, higher. Okay. So we're seeing that we're going to do a remix, put it on the EP as a deluxe version. Yeah, so like it's 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 really big in Europe, Asia, and some other like wow. yeah, continents. Ghana is like 
number 35 in my highest like listening of that song wow wow so, yeah. and my biggest challenge has always been um finances is like the first one that we mm-hmm. all go for every artist like even here in ghana mm-hmm. yeah. in nigeria everyone is financing but also um i think the biggest challenge as artists here in ghana and i, I see things changing gradually mm-hmm. because as we have like platforms like this we have people like you that are like now more in depth, have in depth knowledge into yeah. this music business and mm-hmm. how it goes. Because for a very long time, we were blaming the wrong people. We we're blaming the artists for not putting out good sounds. Mm-hmm. But I, I hear sounds that are that Perfect. you guys have not even yeah. heard, and they are very amazing songs. But then the loophole was execs. We didn't have enough executives to sit uh-huh. in the rooms to talk for us. You know, we didn't have a lot of managers that knew what to do. Even like with labels, some labels that have signed some artists that artists have left. You realize their labels have money. I don't know how to market the artist, how to push it. So that has always been our challenge. But we thank God so much that now we are having a lot of execs, mm. like, you know, people like going to this MBA school, music yeah. business, uh, yeah. academy thingy. And we are having a lot of people that are well, like, vested in this whole thing. And yeah, we, I, we, we are sure we're going to get somewhere. Oh, be- beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you also spoke about how you signed some bad um, deals mm. here and there. But at the moment, have you signed a good one? Are you on any good label now? Um, so right now, right now, I, I have my own management team, my okay. own management company called Root Entertainment Rich. or Root okay. Collective. It was formed when I was in Tema school. But then I realized I had to register the name and make it formal. So it's Rulers of Our Time Collective. Okay. So we have me. Um, Afro Lectra, he's an amazing producer yeah, and DJ. Yeah. He produced, um, he produced for our yeah. Like if you watch like their um, album, he has a lot of songs on there. And then Baba Wood, the guy who produced my um, EP, my entire EP, okay. Okay. he's also signed and uh, they are all my brothers. Baba Wood, I was in Temasco with him. He taught me how to play the guitar. Started me from um, like singing and all of that. I used to be a dancer, I became a rapper, and now a singer. Uh-huh. And mm-hmm. He took me through all that phase. So he's been and he's an amazing producer. He produced I, 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 the song that I've released mm-hmm. now. So it's just the three of us now. But we have um, I have a, a distribution deal with TME Music. Okay. TME, TME is a, it's a distribution platform. It's just like how these other one RPMs mm-hmm. and all these people are. But okay. it's Ghanaian owned, but they are they are from France. Okay. So they are doing amazing jobs for Asaka Boys and some other artists. Mm. So they even funded my video. Okay. Yeah, and um, they are doing. I mean, this the only platform that I say every time that the only platform that you can use Momo to get your royalties. Interesting. That's crazy. Yes. Wow. You, you know, use l- Momo. Listening to you talk, looks like now there's a lot of knowledge about yes. this thing. You know, like yeah. you know, you understand <laughs> yeah. the a things lot, a lot. I mean, when like. Throughout the entire process, you know, I lost my dad and all. Oh. Um, I had to, you know, sit back during the business because at the end of the day, you are an artist, but you have people that are also looking up to you to also mm, help yeah. call shots. Because for now, I feel like now we don't have like people that much, so yeah. we have to learn it ourselves. So we can also teach our team members and teach other artists. So a lot of other artists they didn't know the various types of royalties you had to go for your publishing. As a songwriter alone, crap, you, know, you have a different type of money that you are getting aside your plays on Spotify and Apple mm. Music and all of that. So all these things are things that I've started also telling other artists. Yeah, okay. you're looking really, really fine. Yeah, really I nice. said like, it's really like, fine. Like, yeah. it's on point. Like, like as we talk or and they, and they think about school days. <laughs> Not true though. Not right. true though. Because because <laughs> you know you, they said they said you pro, Nanaya prophesied that yes. he was gonna be yes. great. Yeah. And it's in that same vein that when himself and CJ Bigaman mm. were contesting wow. for entertainment <laughs> head of the mass school. Mm-hmm. See the whole school came to a standstill. <laughs> they could go to the dining hall area, we are piano, we are rapping, we are piano, we are rapping. And and you could see that the wow. like one day mm-hmm. that will happen. So yeah. we have to sit here. I'm proud of it. I'm interviewing. <laughs> oh, but like. but I, I see you move around a lot at events. How important is it for you to be to be in that ecosystem, yeah. to be able to relate with stakeholders in the space? Yes. Um honestly, I would tell every artist that. It's very imperative you create relationships mm-hmm. with these stakeholders. Because like we are, I still say we're a young industry. We're mm-hmm. still, you know, trying to find our feet. And we need to create that bond. Mm-hmm. 
I really, I'm a, I'm, I'm a sanguine. I like going out. I really like connecting with people. So being out has been my life since. Yeah. Since, since. Just that at times, you know, like as we did school, you know, I'm a science student, science one, but then mm -hmm. I like, I dress differently. I do everything differently. Yeah. It's just me. It's who I am. And it got to a point, my team was even complaining, yo, you go out too much. I'm like, yo, you don't know. Like, most of the deals I have, even this TME deal was because I went out one mm. night. Mm. And I met this guy who I've already connected with. And he was like, look, we want to help. We want to do this. We want to do that. And I think it's very, very important. Stakeholders are very important people. All, you, all of you guys. Because people, you have people that are following you. You have people that, and you narrate it to them. We make the music. But you can tell them, okay, this guy made this song. By his hip life is mm -hmm. this is that you know and it's it comes it boils down to you having a personal connection with this person where he can explain to you his creative process i mean there could be times where i can invite you to a studio i mean like i'm recording this song today i want you to come like listen to it imagine if you're sitting here presenting the song to people yeah you yeah. know yeah. You, you understand yeah. it well it's very 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 important i think it's a very important thing. i see a lot of artists be like oh like you know laid back when they see but now nah, i feel like we we are family they don't even come for interviews yeah. Yeah. but <laughs> you see you see the way of, of first speak say eh? that's the energy i got right. the first time i actually spoke to him oh. like you can see he understands what right. he's doing yeah, yeah. he he's gone through the process he has seen his seniors and he wants to do that yeah. but then like he said he went off but now he has come <laughs> back with that same vim so mm -hmm. i want to find out mm -hmm. that the new projects that you are doing all the things, the experiences, the lessons, how have you inculcated everything into this music? Because now, even though you said that the music industry is a, is a young one, it's like we, 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 we still, I'm, I won't say it's a baby steps. Mm -hmm. we, we, we've learned a lot. Mm -hmm. But now you can see artists doing diverse things. Diverse artists things. understand yeah. the music. This person is chatting here. This person is doing chatting this. Here, yeah. How are you making sure that this project that you've done aligns with everything that the music industry stands for and what people expect from an artist? Well, um, first of all, if I would understand your question well, you're, you're trying to talk about like if I've taken all necessary steps. To, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, like, yeah, it's, 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 it's all there. Even my previous songs, I've been doing the same thing, registering it the right way, um, having my BMI, my PRSs, all these things, all my royalties and everything done. But then if, if I want to also chip in this particular project, mm -hmm. um, I, went, I went all out, not trying to obey the status quo. Good, that is what you want. <laughs> yes, I, I, I didn't, like if you listen to IIR right now, right. that's not the bounce that is there, yeah. but... We said, look, it's a different, it's, it's, it's a song that will turn your head. Yeah. If you're in a club and you listen to it, I, I posted a, a snippet of it. I was running down the road. Yeah. Someone, was, someone was asking me, why did you, why were you running? <laughs> I was like, look, if you hear the song, you expect to see a girl shaking her booty or something. Right. I was like, nah, I'm just running down the road, singing the song, read the lyrics, hear the bounce. Yeah. And it's, it's, we, we got the idea from hip life. Mm -hmm. You get it? And it's, 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 it's even it's ironical because... Just a few weeks ago, we had this whole Afro beat, Afro pop yeah. discussion. The conversation is the still there. The conversation is yes, still there. Yes. And for me, I have I have this theory that I feel like we missed out when we we started changing the names too much as Ghanaians, mm -hmm. because we had names that were for us. We had high life. We had hip life. It was for us. We had a zone too. It was for us. But I think we just we we're just changing the names because what we are doing now is still hip life but it has grown mm. it's all tape music that we fused hip life with you have yeah. rapping okay and like you know i me that's my theory i don't yeah. care if anyone doesn't like <laughs> agree with me but that's my theory so yeah. the ayaya has the hip life bounce we have other songs that have like palugo in there we have pure alte songs the outro of my ep is a pure alte sound we have like hummus type beats mm. sort of like beats. i like yeah on that EP, we have a whole lot of sounds. So I went all out. I didn't that's, want to That's obey. good. That's good. So how many songs do we have on this project? Six songs. Six, six songs. songs on the project. The project comes out 20th of October. Six okay, songs. But month, then, songs. yeah, but then in November, I would add two more songs. That's the um, remix of um, Believe. Okay. And then we have okay. one more song. I have a song with my brother CT. So I'll, I'll throw that one too in. So we'll have eight songs in general, like this okay. final quarter. I just right. want to 
for all of you guys. So what is the promotional plan for this project? Um, so, I mean, we are, we, are, we are trying to go, a lot of people are doing, it's very important to have like a social media plan because right yeah. now we know that TikTok is like yeah. blowing songs yeah. hard. Yeah. It's, it's done tremendous work for people and that's one thing we are going to really focus on. But we are also going to still go the gorilla way, the, the traditional, traditional way, way yeah. you know, <laughs> coming to the radio stations, right. TV stations, yeah. going to the streets, getting, making sure the songs are given to the right DJs and you're playing it. So there's a whole, we have a whole plan. I can't really get into yeah. that, but yeah. then we'd have a lot of pop-ups, a lot of pop-up shows, live shows and club tours. Okay. Cause I started like singing with the guitar. With the guitar yeah. So I want yeah. to go back to the guitar okay. and then we'd have um, a listening session for that um, I know you do. Yeah, we'd have we'd have a listening <laughs> session for the EP. I would invite mm -hmm. all of you guys. We'll be yeah, there. If you know, yeah. come. Yeah. We'll get we'll come. <laughs> yeah, so I'd invite all of you and then yeah. um you guys can come and listen to the EP. I would, I would also perform. And yeah. But what's this love story between you and Pato Rankin? <laughs> you see, I, I was just about was just this love. Every time I mean, a few days ago, he did a live he and he went again. And he was here. You guys performed at a wedding yeah, together. Yeah, we performed at a wedding together. He was here for his album launch mm -hmm. too. I was there. Mm -hmm. Even the album launch, I was, I was on my way somewhere. I was in town. And then I had a call from OBS manager. I was like, ah, you know, say we put your name for guest list and we not tell you. I was like, ah, they come. So I had to even buy clothes right there and then <laughs> to just show up. Because I, I had no idea it was in town around that time. I think it was a surprise, you know, visit to Ghana. But Pato, I would say, is an amazing person, mm -hmm. you know? Like, I don't know how to describe that man. He is, and you know his album dropped too. Yeah. yeah. You guys should go stream it. It's, it's amazing. It's crazy. Yeah, we are. And, like, and especially in Anaya. Yes. You get it. Are. And for me, meeting him or knowing him, I've always been starstruck. Even though we are close, close, mm -hmm. he's always like, he always looks like me. like, ah, Charlie, chill, chill, yo, chill. 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 Loosen up. <laughs> like, yo, we did. He's trying to always be calm. I'm like, no, because it still doesn't make sense to me. CT went to play my song by mistake. He was going to play a beat. Mm -hmm. And then he played the song by mistake. And this man hears my voice and is like, I like this guy. And at that time, I had just like a thousand followers on Instagram. <laughs> I was nobody. I was like, look, let's do this song. He did the song even before calling me. And then he came down with his entire team to shoot the video. Even the day of oh. the video, a lot of the models and some of the guys on sets didn't even believe he was going to come. <laughs> and he came. He stayed till dawn. We had problems. He was still there. Wow. Like, this man is just amazing. And we just realized under like his, his album launch, the program, that he has featured 20 Ghanaian artists. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. But there's also yeah. the most 20. featured yeah. Yeah. That artists. That is true. Yeah. 20. And like, you see, this is somebody that we need to support us. Yeah. Because like, we had this um, talk, this whole Ghana Niger chat, right? right. And even before he went on radio, the radio station, and he was talking about the songs they used to listen to back in the day. Mm. You know, it was it's crazy. The man is just. I know if we leave you, you talk about part <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. I know you've shared the plans and yeah. everything. Yeah. What should fans expect from you? I mean, you've given us the rundown, but I'm sure there's more. Yeah, I'm I'm back, and I'm not I'm not going anywhere anymore. I'm so sorry for ghosting. I'm so sorry for being out of your faces and yeah. out of you. I know you guys were playing me, but I wasn't there. A lot of fans meet me and they're like, when are you releasing? When are you? You, know, you, you let me down. But like, yeah, I'm back and expect nothing but good music. Mm -hmm. Maybe we may give you one last EP before yeah. the year yeah. ends again. So, okay. yeah. So I'm told there's an exclusive that we have to check out before we wrap up okay. the show. So yeah. let's check out the exclusive. <laughs> Is this an exclusive on the table of life next week? The video will be dropping like a hot. <laughs> like, so, like, but okay, yeah. the feeling I'm getting, mm -hmm. I'm super excited. Thank I'm ginger up. Yeah. Yeah. I want Very more. Beautiful. Big shout to Kwame yeah. Koda. We're shooting more videos too, yeah. so yeah, check yeah. it out. Um, yeah, the video is not out. It'll be out next week. Yeah. So don't bother going to type it. No. You're not getting to anywhere. No. Yeah. Or but just uh, start this interview yeah. again. Yeah. Or check it. Yeah, that's it. That's right. it. So, but the song is out today, yeah. so you can go stream it everywhere. Yeah. Indeed. Thank you, you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. It's time for you to spread your wings. Mm. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much for And, and we are proud of you. Yes. you. know, that's why I say Tomasco, you know, like. Yeah. 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 Yeah.